that's the number we are working with, uh, of which we, we are going to balance. I'm not sure we have maybe a female there and then some male boxers. Also, depending on how competitive they are. Now, how are we going to identify the six boxers? We had two ways, because I think Uganda Boxing Federation is the only federation that has clear national team selection policies. And policy number one for us is call for national trials and let everyone come and participate, pick the best guys. Uh -huh. But now for you to call for national trials, one, you need to have the resources, you need to have the time on your side. Now, given the time that's left, three months, we cannot call for national trials because we don't have the resources. But even if we had the resources today, we cannot manage the time frames left. Because for me to call trials, clubs need to go and train. You guys need to go and train, even like a month's train. By the time they come for competition, you're two months late. So that's not going to happen. Uh, the second option we have is the Champions League, the one that we have that's ongoing. Because at least we have boxers, elite boxers, who are in the Champions League for now about three months. And we've been seeing them fight, train and compete. Now we can easily pick a few of them and say this one has been a, a bit better competitive. So now the only option we have is uh, to use the little resources available. Uh, recently, the National Council promised to give us some money to help us identify uh, about 60 million shillings, uh, so which can only supplement what you are doing to identify a team within the, common, within the Champions League. And then that's the team you're going to present, and then hope that uh, there will be money to, for it to start training, then the trainings will begin, and we move forward like that.